And I think, if anything, it's a determination coming from this uh, conference to make ourselves heard at a UK level, that whilst they discuss with, uh, with the EU, they've got to remember the effects of those talks on the constituent parts of, of this region. Uh, and as uh, you and Gibraltar cannot afford to be abandoned as the UK seeks a particular deal with the EU. You want to make sure that the needs of Gibraltar are heard. I want to make sure that the needs of Wales are heard. And around that table, there were many different needs. Somehow we've got to make those needs heard, uh, at the same time as we have some of the most difficult negotiations in global politics uh, going on between London and Brussels. And what sort of level of confidence do you have in the Joint Ministerial Council as a mechanism to try and capture those differing needs? Uh, currently I have little confidence in, in that the sub-state uh, region's needs uh, will be uh, prioritised, uh, shall we say. The UK will be looking for that global deal uh, with uh, the European Union, the big picture. And there's a danger, I know Gibraltar is aware of it, that we could, as sub-state regions fall by the wayside unless we can somehow make our voices heard. That's going to be ch the challenge for all of us, whether it's Gibraltar uh, or Wales. Gibraltar is a very successful lobbyist in terms of its own uh, political and constitutional future. Um, Gibraltar, I guess, has to focus that now on that particular issue of uh, the effects of, of Brexit on you. We'll be doing the same thing in Wales and at this conference over the past few days we've learnt a lot about how each of us will be trying to make sure that our voices are heard.